Hey guys, Chad here from Take It or Leave It, here with another movie recommendation for you for a little film called Amelia's Children. Here's the synopsis. Edward searches for biological family in Portugal. He finds a villa and reunites with his long-lost mother and twin. But their shared past holds a dark secret that will forever change his understanding of his identity and origins. Alright, and with that down, why do I think you should consider putting this on your watch list? Well, first and foremost, I mean, there's no really good way to say it other than this movie movie creep me the hell out. And in more ways than one, you know, there's not just one kind of horror style here. There's a number of different styles at play, which was really nice because it kept the horror fresh and never really felt stale ever. But yeah, this film has it all when it comes to horror. It's got get under your skin creep out factor. It's got tension, dread, and suspense. A character that every time she comes on screen will make you squirm. And some incredibly visceral and violent and gory images that just flashes on screen of some pretty taboo stuff, I might add. So hats off to the director for being able to juggle all these different kinds of horror in this film. Secondly, I gotta say that the mysterious and very twisty plot, coupled with the very rich mythology, was incredibly well done. The film opens with a very tense and very suspenseful beginning that kicks off the story and mystery beautifully. Especially because it creates a scenario in which you can't help but start trying to make assumptions. And personally, some of the assumptions that I made following the opening scene, I was wrong. I was dead wrong, and I'm so glad that I was, because it made the film so much more intriguing. But I really have to highlight how much I really loved and appreciated the world building and the mythology that connected to real life people and events. I mean, it really was the cherry on top, and it wasn't gimmicky at all. Throughout the film, there's just these little pieces of information that are just kind of dropped here and dropped there, and the suggestion and implication implications behind these pieces of information are so grand in scope, it became fascinating. But the story didn't ride on this, this was just icing on the cake, you know? These kind of direct, grounded connections to real life people from the past, like artists for example, that wasn't necessary, but it just gave credence and more significance to the story that's being told here. The third reason to consider this film are the fantastic performances. Carlotto Cotta, who plays Ed, the main protagonist shows the depth of his range by playing multiple characters that are very, very different. Bridget Lundy Payne, who plays Riley, is so authentic as the down-to-earth partner of Ed, who starts to get a little bit more and a little bit more suspicious as the film goes on. And maybe most notably, Annabella Moraira gives a simmering and off-putting performance as Amelia. I'm telling you, she's on screen, I'm uncomfortable, that's how it was every time. And lastly, I really thought there was a cool theme here that was discussed, maybe not quite as much as I would have liked it to have been, but it was still there and I still saw it. And that theme, at least as I perceived it, was your family is who you choose to make your family. Considering how many Fast and Furious movies there are where family is everything and that's it, I'm glad that there's another film coming out that kind of goes against the grain on that theme. This film definitely has elements of Barbarian, Suspiria from 2018, The Witch, Bram Stoker's Dracula, We Are What We Are, How House of the Devil, and What Josiah Saw. And if all that sounds interesting, then I definitely recommend that you put Amelia's Children on your watch list. But those are just my thoughts, take it or leave it. What do you guys think? Have you heard of this film? Does it sound interesting to you? Just FYI, this movie gets effed up big time and goes into some seriously taboo stuff. I don't care who you are, some of the imagery, it's gonna mess you up a little bit. I'm not sure that I emphasize that enough, and I don't want to go into spoilers, but be forewarned, this film gets it's gnarly. You know, this is a hard R, dark, twisted, disturbing, very taboo film. And if that sounds cool, definitely check this film out and let's talk about it in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, but you want more information about what's on my watch list, what I'm currently watching, the kind of ratings I'm giving these films, as well as upcoming releases I'm looking forward to, don't forget to follow me on track.tv. My username is T-I-O-L-I -I underscore reviews. The link is in the description box. Go ahead and click it and start following me on Tracked, and I look forward to seeing you over there. And as usual, guys, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Don't be afraid to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, I'm Chad from Take It or Leave It, and I'll check you later. Check you later. Check you later. <laughs> hey, man, you off my case. Oh, man. I just don't want to hear that shit.